Hi guys, welcome to my doggy pool. So this morning I made a piece. It was, I don't know if you can tell how thick my pillow is. I made a clock this morning and yeah, things went wrong. A spider landed in it and I had to redo it. And and then I was out of time and now I'm I'm home again. And I really wish to to make a piece that matched the clock. So a 30 by 30 centimeter canvas with the same colors. And I am going to start with golden fluid iridescent copper fine I think. Yes. Iridescent copper fine. Give it a bit in the middle. And the next color up is TLP, Golden Peach, the star of the day. It's a really beautiful peach color with a golden shimmer. And it's a new color. I haven't used it yet, except for the clock, of course. So, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And this is my oh, Boom Gel Pearlescent Watermelon. Just to give it a little bit of no contrast. Then I would like to add my Pepio Iridescent Blue Black. A little bit of contrast because all of the other colors are very light so just a little bit and then I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of the TLP and then top it off with my gold and maybe yeah my iridescent bright gold fine gorgeous just with a little bit there and then I'm actually going to use two CAs I'm going to start with my black CA and it's mixed three to one with my Australian flow troll and I think it's getting old. It's rather thin and it doesn't react like it used to. But hey, might as well use the last thing. And here is my, it's Amsterdam uh, Deep Gold mixed with the Australian Float Oil. Ooh, I'm not in the camera view. There. I'm going to use my small blower because it's a small canvas and I'm a chicken. So I'm going to use the small one for the small canvas because it's manageable. Hey, I wish you could see yourself. So I'm pretty happy with this blowout as well. I'm not sure if I maybe I should do something with that little place there. Hang on.
feel like I have better luck with my blowout. And I can tell you that my pillow is slightly different. I have um, followed Sarah Taylor's advice and added a little bit of acrylic. Just a, you know, white acrylic. Uh, I used the Academy one because I felt like my pillow was not very stretchy. And she said, so try and use some acrylic paint. And I did, and I actually feel like it's it's more movable somehow. Doesn't get stuck that much. Well, not on the clock anyway, but that's a smooth surface. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna eat my own words in a minute. <laughs> because it's, even though it should be thin enough, it's not strong that stretchy and it could be the canvas as well as it could be the paint so i guess now we know when i start spinning this out i'm gonna see if it's the surface of the canvas that is gripping grabbing a hold of the paint or if it if it's the acrylic paint i added that made the difference would be nice if i found a solution because it's really been a struggle for sure i have enough pillow paint down and the center has fairly collected not all the way so i'm gonna puff it in the middle and i forgot to pull up my hair that's not a good thing So I can see there's a lot of CA in the middle and I'm wondering since it's the gold one if it really matters so or maybe I can just give it a baby spin and stretch it out a bit and then maybe the CA will have a chance to develop. have a lot of paint in the middle. Let's see how much I have left in the middle. I think I have too much, but I'd rather check. Let's see. I feel like I have a big layer here. Yeah. See, it's a bit too much. Mm. And I have to spin a couple of times extra. work I think I'm gonna be done 
Let me clean up the edges and bring you in for a close up. Let me bring you guys in for a close up. So a lot of things that I'm happy with. The cells are holding up pretty nicely somewhere all the way out to the edge of the canvas. Colors blending beautifully. A little bit of shimmer. Maybe a lot of shimmer. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use both gold and copper and a pigment with, with shimmer in, but hey. Gotta try and then you learn. So I was afraid that my CA in the center was gonna grow and take over, but that for sure wasn't an issue. Also, I have a couple of dots, white dots, and one there, but they haven't grown as I've had an issue with, and they're not all over the place, there are some places, so something in my pillow is better. Either it's the consistency or the fact that I added a little bit of acrylic paint make it more stretchy, you know. But overall, I like this piece. It's beautiful and um, not what I was aiming for, but it really is. So what do you think, guys? Um, any advice, suggestions, questions? I don't even know which way to turn it. Maybe I... I don't know. I kind of like that way. And what about this way? Yeah, that's okay too. I think I like this way better. Which way do you prefer? Uh, leave me a comment in the comments box below. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. And yeah, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please consider to do so and stay safe till next time. We said we were the good ones mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie mm -hmm. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the best side too